We want to bring awareness uh, to the general public of the Naval Special Warfare Foundation and the needs that they have. Uh, we, the foundation supports the, uh, the families of the SEALs and uh, the Special Boat Unit members and the other personnel that fall under the umbrella of the Naval Special Warfare um, of those killed in action and those wounded either in, in training or in combat. For me, uh, it's, it's a way of, of giving back and trying to support uh, these people that are making great sacrifices. Uh, your body's only limited to what your mind will tell you you can do. And uh, I knew I could do this ride, and uh, so it's just a matter of getting up every morning and going out and doing it. Anytime you're doing something that's just unbelievably hard, you're going to have a bonding experience. Uh, you're going through the same things every day. Um, everybody is, you know, everybody's hurting, everybody's tired. Never been on a road bike before about the middle of March uh, this year. And I wasn't prepared. I didn't know a lot of what these other guys know. I didn't even consider bicycling until this uh, happened. I've been retired for 15 years. This may sound strange, especially at my age, but I'm not finding it that tough physically. I, uh, I finish the day, I feel fine. God gave me a good body. We get up at seven, uh, we, get, uh, we, we get our equipment ready, we get ready to go. Eight, we have breakfast. We get a briefing from Marty Jemison on the ride itself, uh, as far as terrain, weather, uh, where uh, a lunch stop's gonna be and uh, just a general layout of, of what they might expect that day. But uh, to go out and ride 550, 600 miles a week is, is, a, is a grind. I'll tell you, there's been a lot of days where I woke up in the morning, if I'd been at home, I wouldn't even have got out of bed. <laughs> yeah, every day is Groundhog Day. <laughs> I mean, it's the same, Pretty much the same routine, although this one we have a short, shorter day that's uh, it's, it's a little bit easier. You have a little more time in the afternoon to relax and work on your gear or talk about the day's events and things like that. We've been averaging 90 miles a day uh, on our bikes, uh, varied terrain, uh, varied uh, weather conditions, uh, extremely hot in California, Arizona, New Mexico. Uh, I think our toughest was in New Mexico where we went uh, over an 88, 87, 8800 8, foot pass. Uh, the climbing, some of it was pretty steep. When I was in uh, Coronado uh, five weeks ago, uh, I thought to myself, 40 years ago, I was uh, in my third week of buds and I was saying to myself, what in the world I get myself into and now I'm 65 starting a 3,033 mile ride saying to myself what in the world I get myself into. Even though we have individual goals you know we're all supporting you know one major goal you know which is to help out this foundation. We've had some amazing people uh, whether it's uh, just people coming up trying to give us actual cash rather than trying to trying to text to the foundation. Every little bit helps, right? Yeah, every little bit helps. That's just great. And we've just met a lot of people that seem to have less than nothing and they give everything they have just, you know, to be able to do a little help on this this ride. We hope that uh, we would reach at least a hundred thousand uh, dollar level and uh, I think anyone uh, seeing this and recognizing the, the needs of the Naval Special Warfare Foundation and the, what they provide to the members of the foundation, the families, um, to make a $10 donation on your cell phone uh, really goes a long ways. A lot of sailors, soldiers, Marines and airmen that, you know, have to rely on each other just like we do. You know, we have a support crew that helps us out. 
Bikes require you know, almost daily servicing, at least the drivetrain, oiling, cleaning, um, just keeping the bikes, making sure tires are in good condition, uh, making sure that just making sure nothing goes wrong with the bikes. That's just kind of a, a you just need to take a good look at the bikes each day. Um, we, we're driving a 32, 32 foot motor coach with a 10 foot trailer, so there's a lot of things that go along with that. We you know we have a we have tents, a couple of big tents we have to put up and take down each day. In addition to that, we're putting out three meals a day out of this motor coach. So uh, it's a lot of food going in, a lot of food going out. There's a lot of errands and a lot of details, a lot of cleaning, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, you got to excuse me for one minute because we're passing the guys. And I got to take a picture of them. It's part of my job. Hang on. Okay, we're good. They look good. So it's important to check in with the guys and just kind of see how they're doing. I look, make sure I kind of look at the whites of their eyes. Um, make sure they're doing okay. Coming up over the intercoastal waterway uh, bridge and seeing the uh, Atlantic Ocean, it was, uh, it was an emotional experience. It was a very, very satisfying experience. And then uh, we got down to the water and jumped in, went a little body surfing, I haven't done that in, in years, that, that was great. I'm, I'm riding with such a great group of guys, it, it just is easy. Other than wanting to see my wife again, uh, this ride could go on a lot longer. I'm just I'm loving it. You build a camaraderie and it makes time go by and, uh, and you really do build a bond. Oh, last couple miles, uh, I was just kind of focused on uh, the guys. I mean, we've uh, done this whole ride together and it was all, all of us finishing up together and uh, I just really enjoyed seeing the five of us right up front. Kind of bittersweet in a way because we've got um, great friendships that we grew out of this uh, ride and uh, so it's, it's a bond that uh, it's hard to explain. It's been quite the journey, yeah. journey of a lifetime.